Hello and welcome back. Hey, my name's C. Scott, and today we are back playing Mech and Magic. And today, as I promised you yesterday, we're going to start some power. Yes, I, I know, but give me a bit here. I've been cranking on this stinking quartz grindstone, and I'm getting pretty, pretty darn tired of it. So I looked through the mod and I was like, man, what else can we use? And guess what we got? We got this mod called Horsepower. So we're going to try that real quick. This ain't going to take very long and then we'll get into the real power production, which I know you all really want, but I thought we'd take a look at this. So the first thing we want to do is this horse grindstone, which looks pretty simple. Looks like it takes some leads and uh, normal stone. So leads are going to be, we're going to use rice balls. I went out and found some rice and we had some rice planted in here. Uh, we'll, we'll grab some of these, this rice here and uh, hopefully we got enough to get started with it for the day but I, it should be all right here um, and i got a bunch more in here so uh, looking at it here we'll use rice balls for our leads which is going to be rice dough and rice dough is going to be three so it looks like we're going to need about a total of 12 rice which we should have more than enough here okay so there's one two three four a uh, total of eight and now we'll surround this here 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 and here like this and we got four rice balls boom simple okay that was easier than i thought it was going to be all right next thing we wanted to grab is some string that we got over here and we're going to make a couple leads uh leads uh one two and three oh i guess that's a lot more than i thought oh well hey that's okay i can i can live with a couple extra ones here so um all right and next stick we got sticks and we're gonna need six stone one two three four five six there we go all right horse grindstone boom boom got it easy enough right okay uh now we got to find a spot that's going to be a seven by seven square basically uh that this horse can walk around in and let's see if we can do it somewhere here let's kind of clear this up real quick here all right, well, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. And that'll work. Okay, one, two, three, four. So if we place it here, this might work. Yep, looks like this will work. But uh, we gotta set the block up, which we'll grab a block. Uh, let's mark this thing by putting our bucket right here for a second. All right, <laughs> that's place. That's the draconic evolution place command. Uh, I use it a lot, and it seems to work pretty well. Uh, we'll grab a block of dirt here, and uh, we'll get that horse set up. We got a couple horses around here, so we'll be able to hook them up, and uh, we'll get a little bit of ore production out of this. It's not going to be anything super awesome, but uh, it'll be something. And that's what I'm really looking for. I'm just tired of sitting here cranking myself. Uh, it's kind of frustrating, by the way. Okay, let's make sure here that we got enough. All right, one, that's two, three, two, three. Okay, we should have enough. All right, let's grab a horse. Where'd they all go? They probably all disappeared now that I need to look for them. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right, there's one over here. Come on, bud. I, I see him right there. Oh, this is a party horse. All right. Come on, Slim. Here we go. And we'll take and drag him back over here to this grindstone. And then what we'll do is we'll build a grind uh, grind down ores. And I can show you guys the uh, the recipes for this. So pretty excited about it. I think it should work pretty nicely. Boom. Uh, here. That did not work on him. You. Okay. To there. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so now he's hooked into there, right? And let's grab a little bit of ore real quick. I've done a little mining. Nothing over the top. I really, we're not very far. If you guys look through all our chests, we do not have a ton of resources yet. I mean, we got a little bit here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just do six right now and get these moving. But it's going to be better than me having to sit there on that stupid hand uh, and, and hit that quartz grindstone. That's because that's frustrating. All right. So, oh, not that. We should have to shift click these into there. Huh. It should do wheat. Let's chuck wheat here real quick. Maybe that's going to be the only thing it does do. Either way, I mean, it wouldn't be too horribly bad. We got some wheat here. And maybe this will go into that. I don't, I don't know. I just looked at it and thought maybe it would work for us. All in the name of science. Okay, wheat does work. 
and I want to just flour, wheat, bones, sugar. So all these work. And we just place that right in there like that. Oh, I, I wonder, guys. I wonder. Let's just look. I didn't. Maybe there's not an iron one in there. Iridium, aluminum, copper. You know, maybe iron isn't one that's in there. Obsidian. It's not. Check that out. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to do iron or that away. Oh well. I wonder if that's an oversight. Maybe I will, I'll ask here, but let's take a piece of gold. It looked like we could do gold in there, right? Gold, something looks like gold, gold, sulfur, obsidian, saltpeter, sulfur. Which one? Copper. Okay. Well, let's try copper. I got some copper here. One, two. And then I wonder if these ores, if they, those can be ore dictionary into that too. Um, interesting. Okay. And how are we doing here with this? Three. Okay. So two, we've got two out of there. Almost two left. Three. And we'll let him finish up there and then we'll place, we'll place the copper in there. Okay. Hey, all in science today. Oh my gosh. It's, it's been 10 minutes in. Um, We'll, uh, we'll get moving. Let's take a little quick snooze here real quick. And we can only sleep at night. Great. All right. Just a second. Let me sleep this off real quick. And I'll join you guys when it's daytime. And we're going to add this copper to this. And then we're trying to get to the real power production. I didn't realize we were going to have a new thing like this. This is interesting. All right. So all our wheat is done. Let's throw on. Let's see if we can throw on these guys. Okay. So copper is going to work. All right. Hey, um, other things you can do, we can put a hopper underneath and a chest, or I'm sure we could probably hook it up to some pipes and move the pipes out, but that's really slow. Um, either way, it's an option, something you could do. Um, definitely interesting. And, uh, yeah, I do kind of wish iron was possibly with that. Maybe the gold, but maybe that's inherently set that away so that that's not, um, Whoa, sunflower seeds. That's pretty cool. Um, maybe that's just set that away. All right, we'll kind of drop all this junk into here. And we're not going to need it there. Okay. All right, let's get moving with the real thing we're going to do. So today, actually, what we're working on is actually additions. And I've done this before. I uh, did it in a live stream, if you guys aren't tracking. We do live streams every Friday night or every Saturday morning at zero at midnight on Saturday mornings at uh, Pacific Standard Time and Sunday mornings Pacific Time. Uh, we get together and do a lot of different things. But one of the one of one of the viewers one day showed us a really cool option with actually additions. We're gonna use a farmer, we'll need the atomic reconstructor, uh, we're gonna use canola for all of this. Um, Amy's her name and she uh, came up with the, something that she uses and it's pretty stinking cool. So let's start with a coal generator here real quick. Uh, so we'll grab a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, we'll grab a little bit of cobblestone, a little bit of coal, um, a little bit of iron and we'll do sticks too. One, two, three, four. Yeah. We're going to need a lot of sticks here for this. All right. So the first thing we need to make here is going to be the iron casing and we need black quartz. Okay. So black quartz is pretty simple. Uh, it comes out of here. Okay. And let's just look at the recipes here so we can double this. I don't know if there's anything over the top that we can use for it. Nope. Not just yet. There's not. So let me throw some into here and some of them into here and I hate smelting those up like that but it's uh, just time wise right for us so uh, here's these we'll go there and uh, here alright and we'll take the first one out so we're making an iron casing here we're gonna make a coal generator for the iron casing is gonna be that uh, coal generator is gonna be this and now we have a coal generator alright the next thing we're gonna want to do is the atomic reconstructor and that's going to be another iron casing and some redstone. Redstone's upstairs. Let's grab out a stack of redstone because we're going to need that too with us. 
Uh, we'll grab another <laughs> another quartz, and uh, we're doing the atomic reconstructor, one iron casing, and now that should be enough here to do the atomic reconstructor. All right, these two things together are going to get us really started in actually additions, um, and we'll probably set them right here. So we'll do uh, atomic reconstructor going this way and coal generator we'll just put it right on top of it for now all right so we're gonna need a button with that too um ooh. Uh, i think it's straight stone that we need but we're gonna need a button uh well, do i have any coal uh, we'll get coal started on that uh cranking while we make our button uh one there and we'll just take 24 there so okay and we're gonna need a redstone torch also with that so one redstone torch and that will we'll change that to a pulse level here we go and we'll rock this back here come on all right so you notice it says deactivation right click with redstone now it's a pulse we make a stone button the stone button will actually fire this thing so uh there we go now that is working and we can get working on some of the other things that we're going to need um and those are going to be uh, right off the bat, we're going to want some fermenting barrels, all right? Fermenting barrels are pretty simple. Uh, we're going to want four of these. We're going to need canola, oak, and then wood casings. I've grabbed wood casings out of our actual additions building that we had over in our village, and now we'll be able to do this. Uh, so here we go with this. We're going to need four pieces of iron, and those are going to need to be turned into, if you'll notice here, these Enroy crystals. Um, and those are really simple. You use the atomic reconstructor, pop it, and I'll show you guys how this is done right now, because it's not really very tough. Uh, that's The whole point is, is getting this guy ready. Uh, we'll throw these guys down in there. You'll hit it with there. Um, and it changes those steel ingots or those iron ingots, I apologize, um, into these enroy crystals. And what do we have for wood? Uh, wood is here. We need at least 24. Um, there we go. All right. We're missing four canola. And one, two, three, four. Here we go. And now we have fermenting barrels. Fermenting barrels, beautiful, awesome, perfect. Okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to grab is oil generators and we're going to want to do four oil generators and before we do that we want to do a canola press and a canola press is pretty simple here again another enroy crystal we're going to have cobblestone and an advanced coil advanced coil being a basic coil which is going to need four restonia crystals well restonia crystals come from redstone if you can't already tell and we're going to have to put those in front of our uh, atomic reconstructor so one two three four and pop it there's our four restonia crystals we'll come back in i've got some gold ready and we'll grab two pieces of gold there all right so to put this thing together uh we're talking our canola press right right here uh, we'll start with the advanced coil which is nothing more than a basic coil we'll turn some nuggets over uh, out of the gold ingots and where did i lose it at there we go there so that is that we're gonna need one more iron turn to an enroy crystal <laughs> uh, I probably should have put this inside but it's okay um, I'd like it outside for now anyways there's that and we should be able to do this uh, one thing we do probably need to do um, we could do a crafting crafter on a stick uh, and we're gonna need canola again um, we may do that real quickly here in between so we can craft on the fly because that gets to be a little frustrating. Okay, so crafting on a stick. Uh, crafting stick, which is right here, is no more than a sign and a crafting table. We still got wood on us. We do. Perfect. All right, so a sign. If I was smart, we'd know that was that take a total of six of these. And one sign and one crafting table crafting table sign crafters on a stick okay now I'm much happier this this will work better for us um, if we go outside we'll already have everything on us and we can actually craft on a stick so advanced or uh, actually additions I'm sorry so we've got a fermenting barrel we've got canola presses and we need four oil generators uh, so we need a total of 32 iron casings for this or I'm sorry eight total iron casings for that now uh, we'll grab out a stack here and uh, we'll need some more sticks 
and there we go. Uh, total of eight now. There's our eight. What else do we got in here? Eight, nine. Okay, perfect. Okay, oil generators, and there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's those. That'll clear that. And now we'll just need some cobblestone. Now uh, we're pretty close. Four, yeah, we're good there. So, uh, and more canola. So four more canola. Four. Okay, and here we go with the oil generator and perfect so now we have four oil generators that's all we really needed to get uh, the four fermenting barrels the canola press and the oil generators uh, let's go set those up uh, we're also going to want to do a farmer here too and let's go ahead and do that while we're at it uh, i got some iron iron casings over here so we got more than enough here so and i need a little bit more there 36 blocks so there's our four total uh, let's grab out a total of four seeds, four seeds. The farmer, the farmer's actually going to farm our canola for us. Okay, so these Enroy blocks will come outside. And we can throw this together here. And right here, that block goes in front. Hit it with the atomic reconstructor. Now we use a crafter on a stick. And there we go. So we now have one said farmer. The way this thing gets set up here is we're going to place the farmer right here. Uh, right here, let me remove this block. The farmer's gonna go here, all right? And off of that, we will set the rest of our power generation up. Actually, I wanna move it one block forward here, right here. All right, let me sleep for a second and I'll be back with you guys when it's daylight. Okay, we're daylight time now, and now we're gonna set this thing up. So let's set the inventory. We'll place these guys into our inventory here. And where did our four fermenting barrels go? There they are. I just ghosted in the inventory. Okay, uh, we're gonna set in the middle. You're gonna set the canola press. You're gonna set fermenting barrels on each side this way, here, here, and here. And then on the outside of that, you'll actually set the oil generator. So there, there, and I just want them facing out like this. Cool, just like that. All right, easy enough. All right, so from here now, what we're going to do is we need to, one, we need to put seeds in this, we need to put power to this, and then we need to pipe everything out. But we're gonna need to plant all of this. So what do we got? We got our favorite friends in the world right in here. And we've got some worms. Uh, worms will help this grow a little bit quicker. And I've got some basic canola seeds. Um, we'll get this set up here. And it'll do a nine by nine area. So one, two, if we go here, here, and he's there, there, and right here. Okay, we're gonna need to remove a little bit more land here. Okay, perfect. And he gave us another worm. So there, there, and here. And then finally we'll go there, here, and here. Okay, and then we just throw the seeds up into there. We'll have to pull this over and add power to this. But uh, these guys are starting to move, and that's beautiful. All right, so out of that whole deal, we got more worms, which I absolutely love in worms when it comes to it. So how do we move stuff in there? Could we stay with actually additions? Yes, absolutely. But I honestly think we're just going to go with transfer pipes. Uh, transfer nodes, transfer pipes, and here we go. We just need some glass. So, do I already have glass? We do, one, two, three, four. Or actually, we only need two. And we'll need a little bit of stone, one, two, three. And here's this. So we got the stone, we got the transfer pipe, which is 64 total. Now we'll do a transfer node, which is just a chest, uh, which is pretty simple. There's that, and we now, uh, straight stone. So, two more stone. Okay, there we go, ear and stupid worms. Okay, so move that again out of that thing. All right, okay, and we will plug this up this way. So we're gonna have to come underneath here. Uh, we'll get us a little area underneath. And all right, so the way this is gonna work is it's gonna come out of here. I think I can come from underneath. We're gonna see very quickly here. 
uh, once we get this all hooked up. I may be wrong. We may have to come from the backside, but um, uh, I'll live with that if that's the case. Okay, uh, and then close it up. And let's pull power. From here, we should be able to break this and not lose any power out of it. And we will hook him into, we can just place him right on top here, right beside it. Okay, now we got plants, it's planting, and look how beautiful that is. <laughs> awesome, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so now that we've got this, we gotta figure some way to move power around. Um, and I'm thinking, uh, one thing that looks pretty cool, it was with the Actually Edition stuff, at Actually Editions, and I really think I'd like to try these laser energy relays. Um, so we'll do that. Um, we're also needing one of these wrenches. These are kind of expensive, honestly. Um, but I, I think we can do it. All right, so we're gonna need a bunch more than four. So we're gonna make, let's make a total of eight of these things coming out. Um, we've got one, two, three, and four. So that's a total of four for that. Uh, advanced basic coils, so we're going to need uh, eight Restonia crystals. So we'll come outside, <laughs> we'll th throw this. And the great thing is, is this thing holds energy, so it's got 3,000, you know, a lot of, how much is it? 300 kilo, yeah, whatever that is. It's a lot. So it's, it's working well. And while all that's doing, um, we've got things that are in the back over there working. Um, one two and here is basic coils and we're gonna need a little bit more gold there 19 and two basic coils and that gives us the advanced coils here i don't have any carrots yet i'm glad we came up with that that was cool to see all right um all right, two more, four more Restonia crystals, and then an obsidian. So four more Restonia crystals, and let's grab our obsidian that's in here, and we'll make these outside. Uh, let's see, we also need a wrench. There's a wrench, like a laser wrench that we need to use also. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Uh, maybe it'd be real simple to find. Uh, let's just double check it here, wrench. Uh, actually additions laser wrench all right advanced coil all right so we need to do more of that let's grab hey these are a lot of junk by the way if you, if you guys can't tell uh, let's grab a little bit more redstone actually these four should be perfect here um, if we do these eight total uh, here and here should be more than enough to do this all right um, this has power, uh, let's add that to it. And I'm not seeing anything come into that yet. Um, but here, let's try, let's see if we can prime this a little bit and see if this works. Um, I've got the 18 canola seeds in here. I don't mind putting those in here and seeing. By the way, don't eat a canola seed, not a good effect on you, by the way. Uh, no, I don't want that in there. I would like that to go in here. Okay, all right, cool. Where's that going to? It's going somewhere. Maybe in there? No? <laughs> Where's it going? Where's it going? Hey, all in the name of science. I'm telling y'all that we, we do things and it, oh, maybe we should plug it up here. Let's see if that's better. Huh? There they are. Okay, perfect. It, it will plug into that. So awesome. That's what I was hoping for. And then we're going to have to prime that thing too. So this guy's got power and we're going to need to finish off. Uh, let's do, do I have iron on us? Yeah, I do. Okay. So we'll do the iron for the Enroy crystals and let's then do, uh, where's our crafter on a stick? There we go. And we'll do our wrench real quickly here. Uh, we'll use one of those uh, advanced coils. And now we have a wrench. Let's run back inside. We'll finish off one of these relays or a couple of these relays, more to be exact. And we can then, all right, there, here. All right, perfect. And we'll surround it with gold nuggets. Okay. 
All right. <laughs> Actually, additions. This is interesting. I've never done these these relays, so I'm pretty excited to try these. One, and what was I missing? Oh, I didn't shift click it in. I'm sorry. There we go. So we got eight total now of these. And what we can do with these guys to prime, my understanding is we, we go here and here. And now we take our wrench and energy flow both directions, hold a compass to modify there to there. Okay. So now if we look into this, you see we got power. The canola is, is pressing that up and it is now going into into our fermenting barrels the fermenting barrels are now going to actually uh create the power and you can see we're creating power through here awesome so what we can do now is do here and here there to there and now we're powering our our farmer so as this stuff grows that'll work perfectly so let's take this one off here because we're not going to need that we can remove this take this guy and we can put him back over here for now because uh, we really don't I mean we don't need to hook him up there there's that and we'll place power back into that and so now we're getting power at each one of these uh, there there and here I don't know if this is gonna work but again we're gonna try things new all right uh, here to here there to there, there to there, there to there. Ooh, that's working. Okay, cool, cool. And now we just gotta figure something else out for our power gen. So there to there, uh, there to there, uh, there to there, no. Uh, there, you do you? No. All right, we'll figure it out. Either way, everything's working. We've got power coming in. You've got things being harvested. You've got underneath here, the canola press has actually got power. And these guys are fermenting because they've got, they've got stuff in them. So there, yeah, great. They've got refined oil, refined canola oil. Okay, cool. All right, let me sleep real quick here and then we will finish up for the day. All right, well, it's good morning time and it's a little bit of daylight. And the last thing we need to do is we need somewhere to transfer and store all this power. So I think we'll go to thermal thermal expansion. We'll use an energy cell here real quick. Uh, so it's going to take a block of energy, a block of redstone energy cell, redstone con conduits, uh coil conduits coil and some letting it so here we go with this let's see if we can get this thing crafted up uh here we are so the very first thing let's start with here is the redstone this one i can't pronounce tonight all right so we need electrum electrum is going to be one silver dust and one gold dust and that gives you two electrum dust we'll get that stuff smelting up real quick while we work on the actual energy cell here so we need a little bit more glass uh, is this sand one two three four and yes it is sand there's those so while those are working we can then work on this lead gear here uh, so we'll need the iron and the gear is going to be something like this uh, four lead around a piece of iron and then we can go should be able to get in here to this so our condense 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 whatever uh, you guys know me. If you've been around for any time, I can't pronounce a single thing. But you do your electrum with two redstone, and it gives you the coil that you require. Here, <laughs> so and here's our last piece of glass. I guess we can do uh, our block of block there. And uh, come on, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so that we'll do the energy cell frame there, and we need more iron. Okay, perfect. We'll just grab all of it now. There, there, and there. So one energy and uh, that should give us one basic energy cell okay now outside here I did do a little extra updating and you guys can see the farm is really starting to grow you know it, it just it'll keep reproducing itself and it'll get to the point where you get so many seeds in here and it's nuts but I reworked this a bit uh, well we'll design this and make it look all pretty here but I wanted to get it at least set up today so I'm gonna come off the middle here and right here we're gonna put our energy cell and maybe what we do is come on in the building here and i think i want to do 
how's the front of it work? Okay, yeah, we want the front out here. So we'll look at the front and we will place our last energy relay onto the front here like this. And then we use a wrench. We'll tell the wrench we're gonna go from this one to here. And now it should be getting power. There it goes, perfect, look at that. So we now have power production at our building, both horsepower <laughs> and RF. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is great. Uh, this isn't bad. Uh, we're not gonna get to, this took a little bit longer today, so we're not gonna get to actual storage, but we can do that next time. Um, we're gonna, we will definitely do that next time. But this is a pretty simple setup, and it's gonna, if you look at these guys, these create roughly 80, 80 crystal flux per tick, or in translation, about the same thing as RF. Um, uh, never looked at it but you guys will see that it fills up pretty quickly it's all sustainable it's all renewable and it'll continue to work as long as you got canola out there and it's gonna it goes really really well for me um, very nice setup again we did this during a live stream um, and we do do those on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings at uh, midnight uh, Pacific Standard Time uh, but this is great we now have power and we got this stinking horse over here doing his job. I wonder if this is, if this is done here. Yeah, there we go. Our four copper are finally done. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. So, hey, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope this was in. I hope this helped a bit. Um, I think this is a nice early game power setup. It's about 240, 250 RF per tick. If from what I'm tracking, I may need to look up the actual crystal flux tr uh, to RF trans relation of what those actually equal but it's roughly somewhere in there if not it's more than enough to get us started for a little bit of ore production and a little bit of uh our applied well i think we're going to do applied energistics when it comes to our uh our storage so that's it that's what we got for the day we got power and we were rocking and rolling so hey until next time my name's c scott and we'll catch you all again very very soon mm -hmm.